Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a closer look at the chart view on an e-gauge. This is the default view when you log into the meter and it displays all the data collected by the device. This meter has already been configured and the data has been verified. Of course, every install is going to be a little bit different and you might have different registers available, but the overall layout is going to be the same. As you can see, there is a lot of information available. On the right hand side, there's instantaneous readings, which update every second. And on the left hand side, this shows historical data, depending on the time period that you've chosen. You can select a different time period in the upper right hand corner. By selecting and deselecting, you can choose which registers you want to display on the graph. And at the very bottom, you can switch between the current, the accrued, or the average values. You can also click along any point in the graph. This will show you an instantaneous value, or you can select a range by clicking and dragging. By clicking zoom to selected range at the bottom, this will focus the graph on the range selected. From here, you can also select average or accrued to view the data for that selected range. Then, if you want to click restore time period, it will restore the graph to the default range. The chart view can also be customized. By default, all the registers are going to be displayed, but we can make custom chart views depending on what we need to see. By selecting the rearrange icon, you can select or deselect items from your current view. In addition, you can reorder registers by clicking and dragging. So let's move the EV charger register to the top row. This simply rearranges the order that they are displayed. We can also change how each register is displayed on the graph by long pressing the box next to the register's name. We'll change this to an orange dashed line. The current view can now be saved. All we need to do is click at the menu at the top, select chart, then select rename this setup, and then type in a name. We're going to call this one test view. Now at the top left, we can select all of our saved chart views. In addition to customizing the chart view, we can also create an empty setup and add in the information that we need. To create an empty setup, click on the menu on top, select chart, and then select create empty setup. Now we're going to add the registers that we want to see. Below the graph, select Add Items to Display, and we'll select EV Charger, Enclosure Temperature, and CT Current. As you can see, we've saved this setup and called it Scales, and customized the line styles. If you look at the right-hand side, you'll notice that each of these registers has been recording in a different unit. The EV Charger is recording in kilowatts, the enclosure temperature is recording in degrees Fahrenheit, and CT1 current is recording in amps. All of these registers can be displayed together, even though they have different units. Hopefully this gives you a better idea of how to use the default chart view. If you have any questions, you can find a link to our support knowledge base in the video description. You can also email sales at egauge.net to learn more about our products. Thanks for watching.